your arms up and let's box our way to fitness. Hi everyone, I'm Samantha Clayton, fitness expert and former competitive sprinter. I'm working with Herbalife to help you achieve a healthy, active life. This is a fun workout that will really get you fighting fit. We don't need any special equipment, so let's do this. Let's start with a simple boxing warm up. We're just gonna hop from side to side. You're gonna have your fists up by your chin. We're just gonna box from side to side. Just wanna start to get the blood flowing, start moving the ankles. So let's put your arms out front and just circle the wrists, get the wrists ready for exercise. Let's turn our side hop into a jog. Wrists back and forth. Let's warm up the core, arms overhead, just knees to chest. So this workout, we're gonna be working upper body, lower body and core with some simple punch moves. Hands on hips, low kick. So you just wanna do about a two minute warm up just to get your body ready. So just really low kicks. Let's put feet out wide, toes are out arms are up we're just going to touch the floor and come back up you're not ready to go all the way down to the floor that's okay just go as low as you can go and low as is comfortable crossing this will really warm up the core muscles warming up the oblique muscles we're really going to be working the side of the abs today just give me a few more let's go to our good old-fashioned jumping jacks Arms to shoulder height to start with. Increase movements, arms overhead. Let's finish up with a little fancy jump rope. Feet are coming up behind, wanna warm up the quads, warm up the glutes. Yes, I don't have a rope, but I can pretend. Nice job, so that's a great two minute warm up. My heart rate's up, I'm ready to go. We're gonna start out with a simple moving jab. So fists are up. You don't wanna to keep too tight a fist. I don't want you balling your fist, just nice and gentle. And we're just gonna come forward. So one hand by the chin, protecting the chin at all times. And the other hand's just coming out. And we're just hopping forward and back. Nice cardio move to get us started. And then you just want to simply hop around, get in position on the other side, and then punch forward, forward and back, moving jab. If you have a lot of space, you can shuffle forward and shuffle back. But if you only have a small amount of space, we can just do it right here, just hop forward and back. I'm up on the toes. So I'm working my calf muscles the entire time rotating at the wrist as you punch forward. Great job, it's our simple moving jab punch. Now, hands are up, dukes are up, and we're just gonna do a simple weaving move. So you're essentially squatting down and back and stepping from side to side. Each move we're gonna do for about 30 seconds and then move on to the next one. Again, work to your fitness level. If you just wanna bob and weave right here, that's fine. But if you wanna get really low and challenge your quads, challenge the booty, get as low as you can, ducking underneath. Let's go on to our simple jab, stationary jab. Feet are wide, we're right here and I want you to just punch forward. And I want you to think about rotating the foot at the back. So we're just gonna move into the punch and I'm rotating my body. But my punches are going straight out in front, just a simple straight jab. Every time coming back to the chin. Add in a little squat if you want to. You can squat down, punch it out. 
move number one. Simple jab with a squat. Our next move we're gonna do is a cross. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna work the obliques. We're gonna cross the body. Again, it's very important that you follow your motion with your feet. You wanna twist, twist at the body. Jabs coming out of shoulder height. Crossing across the body. Working the core, working those strong oblique muscles at the side. Keep it going. We're gonna be moving the whole time. There's no rest in this workout because I want your heart rate to be up. Making sure you rotate on that back foot and your eyes should follow your punch. Next move, right here. Lead with the elbow. Elbow up, eye height. Right here. Again, you can add in a little squat with that if you really wanna work the lower body. This is our hook. So you're hooking with the body, hooking. And again, see my feet are moving. You don't wanna twist without following with that lower body. This move is really great for the shoulders. So that's our third move. Our fourth move is an uppercut. So uppercut, you wanna punch up. So kind of load down, punch up. Load and punch up. Again, I don't want your fists too tight, just nice relaxed fists. We're not really fighting. We've got no gloves on. We're fighting to get fit. <laughs> Nobody else needs to be there. So just uppercut. Again, the whole time, as you breathe out, breathe out as you force the punch up in the air. Breathe out. You can over-exaggerate it. You can give me a huh, huh. I wanna hear it. You wanna really feel your abs doing the work. Nice job. Let's go back to our box skip. If you have a jump rope, you could be working on your coordination and actually using a rope right now. But it's great how you can still work your cardio without it. Okay, let's try a little combination. Fists are up. We're gonna jab for four. Cross for four. Hook for four. Uppercut, four again, one, two, three, four, cross, hook, uppercut. Let's do two, one, two, cross, uppercut, two again, one, two, cross, seven, eight, and again, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. This time, I want toes out. We're gonna squat down. This is your rest right here. I'm gonna give you a tiny rest, but it's a speed bag. We're gonna come up, squeeze in the glutes, roll in the hands, slowly going down, squeeze up through the inner thighs. Down we go, up you come. Down you go, up we come. Now let's reverse the hand movement. Reverse. This is just really working the shoulders, keeping the heart rate up. But our focus right now is squeezing the inner thighs together on the way back up. Great job. We're gonna go back to the top with the hop. Straight jab and hop. Come back to the center and give me the duck. Ducking under but your dukes are still up, protecting your chin at all times. Let's go to the other side. Let's come back to the front and go for the combination. One, two, three, four, cross. Making sure the feet follow, hook, leading with that elbow, and then uppercut, 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 down into the squat. Back to the top, down into a squat, back to the top. I'm gonna to do that four times. Down we go, back up, here we go. This is our last time through. So I want to really contract your abs the whole time. Just four of each move. One, two, three, four, other side. 
here we go, our last four punches. Make them count. One, two, three, four, and cross. Work in the obliques, work the shoulders, uppercut. Let's finish off with that speed bag. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Great job. Whew. I'm out of breath. I hope you enjoyed my boxing workout. Try combining it with my floor body blast routine, which focuses on your abs and you'll start to feel as fit as a boxer in no time. You can do this workout at your own pace. If you're new to exercise, then don't push yourself too hard too fast. Just do what you can and challenge yourself to add a little more each time. <laughs>